Hello, this is Sebastian from socialanxietysolutions.com. I am a social confidence coach and I help people overcome their social anxiety. And I do that by combining traditional psychology with Eastern energy psychology, which puts your results on steroids. And you can actually overcome your social anxiety completely. So you feel relaxed and at ease in social situations. You can be yourself, you can connect with people and uh, you can actually have a great time without being pissed drunk which is which is nice anyway so uh, here's my quick social anxiety tip of the week overcoming your social anxiety is uh, is not an event but it's a process so it's not something that happens um, you know you go see a coach and uh, you do you do some of these techniques and after this session you're done with it I mean, it could happen, but it's not very likely. It's likely going to be a process over time in which you chip away at the layers of social anxiety that you've built up over the years. Um, and so how do you do that? Well, let's look at what social anxiety really is. In a social situation where when anxiety comes up for you, your brain is perceiving a threat. So that threat might be getting rejected, looking foolish, uh, embarrassing yourself, uh, being criticized, getting read, looking anxious and people noticing it, getting judged negatively. All of these things um, are registered as potential threats in your mind, not in everyone's mind, just for people who experience social anxiety and experience that massively myself, <laughs> you know, so I can speak about it. So your brain is perceiving a threat and it's reacting to that threat by firing off its biological built-in response to that threat called the fight, flight, freeze response. So what that does is, you know, this little part of your brain called the amygdala, almond sized shaped part of the brain, um, uh, fires off a bunch of hormones, you know, adrenaline, cortisol, um, and that gets released in your bloodstream. And these make you hyper alert. Your, your, your pupils dilate. Your mouth likely goes dry. Your heart starts to race. You feel a lump in your throat. Your blood goes away from your digestive system. Because when you're facing a danger, you don't need to be digesting stuff. And your blood goes to your outer limbs so you can run from the danger or fight it. Um, you know, or if you can't do either, you freeze. So that's, that's that response. So that's what's happening. That's what's, what's going on for you. And that's what you're dealing with. Now, most people with social anxiety have been dealing with it for a long time. And so then overcoming it isn't as easy as applying some of these techniques. You know, uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I talk a lot about tapping and energy psychology and those kinds of techniques. And they're massively powerful and, you know, they can actually get you results. Whereas just changing your thoughts and facing your fears is, uh, is a bit outdated. It's helpful, but, uh, you know... It's, a, it's very outdated compared to what is, what is possible when you combine it with energy psychology. But um, it's then still a process of dealing with all the layers. So you've learned, um, your, your brain has learned to perceive these threats through experiences, you know, repetitive negative experiences in early childhood as well as traumatic experiences growing up. And it has made meanings from those things that happened and it has formed beliefs. These beliefs cause the perception of threat. And so you can address these, but there's a whole bunch of them. There's, there's a whole way in which your social anxiety is pieced together. There are feelings about your social anxiety. There's resistance to let, subconscious resistance to letting go of it. Um, basically, it, it, it is a, a, a big problem, a complex problem, but the complex big problem any complex big, uh, big problem can be chopped down into smaller pieces. And each small piece that you take off of a big problem makes the problem a little bit smaller. And that's a process. So, um, and you can do that. You just got to start doing it and you got to keep doing it and you got to be consistent or at least get back to it over and over and over until the task of overcoming your social anxiety is completed. You know? So it's a process to overcome it. All right, hope this has been helpful. I kept it under five minutes. And uh, if you want to learn how to overcome your social anxiety, go to my website or get my free social confidence starter kit where I teach you some of the best techniques that I've learned to overcome my own social anxiety. I've helped 
uh, hundreds of clients for thousands of hours since 2009. And uh, you can get that also at my website or below this video. All right, hope it's been helpful. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Subscribe, I release a video every Thursday. Talk to you soon, bye.